So welcome to Malama Kawaii CSA welcome. cooking show. We have four oh. spooky recipes for you today, which is brew, the two kinds of monster mash, sweet potato mash and pumpkin mash. For the finale, we have oh. beet loaf. <laughs> exactly what it sounds like it is. Does it but smell it like it though? It tastes a lot better than it sounds. Like okay. stinky toes. So my name is Stormy Souza and I work with Malama Kawaii. I am Whitney. I loved when I got asked to become a CSA cooking show host, a second grade teacher at Kalahale Elementary School. Let's see what we can cook up tonight. I am the newest member of the squad. They're, they're trying me out tonight, you know, maybe cut, probably will. Um, Whitney's husband, Billy Miller, just basically do what I'm told. That's why I'm here. All right, well, let's get started. So, what's off on the menu first? We, we're gonna do the potatoes, sweet potatoes, That's right? That's right, sweet potatoes. So, All go right. ahead. So we gonna and cut those. I like to cut them in half, okay. so that they cook faster. Half hot dogs or hamburgers? Oh, gosh. You know we gotta really uh, follow directions. Hamburger. Hamburgers. There you go. That's what I was going with first. Okay. And I learned that and, that uh, purple color is from anthocyanin, oh, which of is the, the mineral that makes it so bright and beautifully purple that actually um, helps with actually nice keeping ones. you from getting sick and. Ooh. Um, just keeping your whole body maintained and your water, like like Gatorade, hydrated, hydrated, Ooh. keeping your water in your body and like how you want it. Ones? Yeah. How come some are white and some are purple? We only have purple ones here today. I think it's just like the strain. Oh, variety. no, just like people, they just sometimes come in different colors. Nice. Okay, you can put that in gently. All right, going in gently. I should probably take these off. I'm gonna now. ask you how long do you think you can last with Let's your, see. Uh, claws Until I on. need my fingers. So you need your uh, fingers. All right, to so that's boiling. Point. Usually I go about 20 to 30 minutes. 20 Usually 30. I do the fork poke test uh, to know when it's ready for mashing. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can put a lid on to help it cook a little faster. Okay, so that's the purple sweet potato mash. Now we're gonna do it. Don't forget yeah, it. The pumpkin mash. Pumpkin mash. So here's our pumpkin. Nice grab. <laughs> and you can find this uh, sometimes uh, when it's in season at the Malama Koi store or from one of the farmers. So don't be contaminated. I know this looks like a scary shape to, to cut, but uh oh. Can you move wow. this right here, please? Yeah. You're going to go for it with the claws? I am. Nice. So what I do is kind of similar to a bell pepper. You just got to go around oh man you know i can do it yeah there wow, you go muscles. hopefully i don't cut my claws wow I that was, imp that was that. actually very impressive if anyone can try and do that that's yeah Mary watch out a girl, yeah, yeah, a girl yeah. with nice Mariel. <laughs> claws on oh this one is nice and orange yeah it's beautiful nice. lots of vitamin a wow packed with lots of Sickness Ooh. and fighting nice. goodness. Lots of seeds for you to Tasty. to roast later if you'd like. Okay. All right. So. So they used to do it as a kid. With, uh, what's that? Put the seeds in the microwave and put salt, pepper, and microwave. Yeah. You see, we'll get to that later. Yeah. Oh boy, it's cool. That was like our only uh, cooking instrument in our household. Right? <laughs> Is a mic, is a yeah, microphone. some people like they have an apartment, they don't have a kitchen. You know, nowadays everybody renting one studio with a yeah. like, hot plate. Funny part <laughs> is, we had everything, but we just only okay. used yeah. We're so. gonna put these on the side. Yeah, Billy, please tell us your upbringing with food. I, I, are your parents here? Um, God, I hope not. They're about to get roasted if you want to hear that. I like story. These, this pumpkin. Um, yeah, well, food was. My parents didn't really cook, not really. It was mainly Hot Pockets, DiGiorno pizzas. Um, what was another staple? Pizza, you say Pizza Pockets? Pizza Pockets were in Frozen there. Frozen lasagna? Frozen lasagna, Stouffer's lasagna. That was definitely, and Maruchin Saimin with hot dogs, hot dogs chopped. I don't know if that counts. But yeah, so I never grew up having really Ono meals like a lot of you probably out there did growing up, but you know, I survived and I learned to cook when I started catching fish. That's kind of mm -hmm. how it all evolved. Had to figure out what to do, you know, salt, pepper the fish, put the flour. So that's kind of where my cooking journey began, I guess. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people cook out of 
because of a passion or because of a need in some way? Okay. Yeah, that would be me for sure. A need, right? To, to, wasn't modeled in my household. It wasn't like you had a role model <laughs> cooking. Which is fine, you know, people are busy. Don't feel bad if, if you're that parent. I'll, I'll probably be that parent. I know. Well, if they're on this show, they're watching. They're on the set. 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 Hot dog style, I guess, and mm -hmm. scooped out the seeds to save for later. And um, I'm not gonna take the skin off because that takes way too long. After you cook it, it peels off, and that makes it much more faster. So that's what's going on. How's the Very potatoes nice. looking? Um, according to my clock, we got another uh, 14 minutes and 32 We're seconds. We're going off Where, internal we clocks. This? Internal clocks. The poke test is that the one? The poke test. The poke test. It's about with the, with 20 the minutes. Something that we've learned from cooking is that we cook very differently, very differently. It's kind of like opposite sides of the, the spectrum. Of the spectrum. So I'm like a Picasso. He calls me because I make art wherever I go on the floor mm -hmm. and on the ceiling and the walls. The little crack between the stove and the counter. <laughs> it just needs to be filled. So that's a nice way of saying you messy. Messy, messy, but like I'm, messy I'm quicker. I'm way quicker, and way I like quicker. to do five things at once. Very so efficient, no doubt. Just like the classroom, just yeah. do it all at once. And this one, meat I'm a meat freak. Meat, meat freak for sure. Like where she starts at Z, the first thing she does when she comes into the kitchen, she turn on the stove. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wait, turn that off. She starts at Z, and I started, you know, A. All, last thing I do is turn the stove on. Chop, 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 prep, 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 oh, start like wiping counters for all the little things that I prep. One little eggshell falls, nice picks little it up. bowls, and then I combine and turn the stove on. So I, I'm very slow, but at the end, you know, I, it always tastes good. It's clean. And he did win the 2020 <laughs> award for the best meal um, chef in the fire department. Oh, cool. That can't be confirmed. I, <laughs> I just made that up. Yeah, but if yeah, it was a contest, that, yeah. you would have won it. It's really good. I feel like you have to be a good chef in the fire department or else... You learn a lot. There's no doubt about it. Even if you start... What's your guys' go-to um, meals? Because you guys got to cook for how many of you in the... Typically five guys. Okay. Some stations have more. And then you guys kind of switch off on the cooks? Or? We, we do, yeah. I eat every day someone else will cook. If the guys are nice. Yeah. There's a rookie guy. He might cook all, you know, all, all week long. <laughs> um... It's always big though, big portions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of well, your typical steaks. We do, you know, some guys do meatloaf a lot, which is what we're doing here tonight. Feet yeah. loaf, no feet loaf, but meatloaf. Well, you know, fried chicken, all kind, anything you can think of, it's, you guys do it. Okay, so to get the pumpkin prepped, um, <clears throat> I only have this one pan okay. that I can show. Maybe you can yeah. run super duper fast. And grab one more cookie sheet, do you okay. know what those are? I'll find them. Okay. One more? Yeah. Okay. Ready, set, go. Timer, 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 timer. Yes. <laughs> so you save the seeds with? Do you do I anything do. before you like toast and roast them or however you, what do you do? Well, there's that slimy stuff. So you just want to get that off so that when you toast your seeds that they're crunchy, you want to get all the moisture off. Okay. So I'll say that I have a little bowl over here I see not being used. I'll kind of save those. Maybe my students would love these. I'm sure some of them have never tried pumpkin seeds, which are also super high, high in iron and protein. Yeah. So be a good filling snack. When I was a kid, I'd always like, I didn't want to eat the shell. I would pop it and like eat the Like a sunflower? Yeah. yeah. But you can eat the whole thing, right? Yeah. It's okay. just a little bit fibrous, yeah. but, but it's good for you. all good. Oh. Yeah. And it smells, it smells good. Do you toast it with anything in particular? Or um, is it roast? Roast, toast, mm. either way, um, in the oven, or you could even do it in, um, in a pan. Mm. Good job. Mm. Um, olive oil or some kind of oil with whatever seasoning, salt, pepper. Ooh. You could do cayenne, make it spicy. You could do taco seasoning, make it have a Mexican flair. Nice. All kinds of things. Thank you. Is that the uh, correct ones? Sure, Boss. you have options. All right. All right, we'll use this one. So I'm just gonna place them. They're about 
two inches thick. You can go thinner. Those will cook even faster. And I'm filling that in the pan. And we're gonna do a little drizzle of oil of your choice. We have avocado olive oil. Ooh, this, please. that sounds very fancy. What a good sous chef. And is it better to make those slices oh, wait, wait, wait. long? Wait, let's save those seeds. Oh, you said save those. Toast them, yeah, Put on them the side. The oh, okay. So a little drizzle of olive oil, like so. A little sprinkle of, of course, Hawaiian salt. Have a huge Ooh. pana pepe Hawaiian salt here. Wow. Beautiful red color from the dirt. Whose family did this one come from? Oh, I wish I knew. My mom's friends. She yeah. has a lot of buddies Collected out there. over the years. Yeah. Five gallon buckets of we have salt. Life supply of salt. <laughs> Which is great. It's the best on steaks. Are uh, these strategically cut in a certain way or? I would I cut them like slices like smiley faces. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it doesn't matter any kind or? Well, later on you're going to be scooping it. So uh, cubing is probably not the best way to go. Because gotcha. you want to remove the skin or else it'll be very fibrous. Makes sense. Oh. Make it some pepper on there. But like you <laughs> want to cut it so that they're all kind of the same Consistent. size. Consistent. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. That so that they all cook. cook evenly Perfect. yeah nice. easy to peel the skin preferably off. I mean, not in a pile but spread out mm -hmm. in a bigger pan would be best okay. so we can open that up and Go that will in. be at 425 Ooh. for 30 to 40 minutes i'm gonna check it out 30 and Ooh. see poke test again okay let's see timer can you set that to 30 please 30 minutes okay we got our potatoes going i don't think the purple potatoes are okay. quite ready yet so yeah, not an hour, but we have some pumpkin already cooked from my awesome Sharky husband. Which is why I asked about the length. Oh. <laughs> so I did not, not specify how he should Are cut you? it today. Oh, okay. While I was at work, he was in charge of prepping all the veggies, and this is what I got. So I said, "I okay, I won't, I won't complain." I didn't. I will complain, but set the, set the expectation. So now I'm just getting a knife, or you can use a spoon um, if a, your child is doing this, and take the skin off Ooh, or from fork, the meat or a toothpick. Sure, yeah. Can you help me? And then Gosh. we'll mash this together. Nice. So I just threw whole garlic cloves Ooh. into the pan with with the pumpkin. Um, they didn't burn and it's perfectly soft so that when you mash it, it already has the garlic ready to go in there. Nice. Yeah. I love it. Everybody's taking notes. Nice. <laughs> Who is there notepads on? It's amazing. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Don't forget this. These recipes are also on the website blog. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to practically write it all down. <laughs> And me, my style of cooking is sometimes eyeball and handful here, mm -hmm. and he's more of the exact level off mm -hmm. the measuring cup kind of chef. Check, double check, yeah. one and a so third. Do you think it's? Do you find it sometimes difficult to um, pivot your recipe? Say if it's not, you can't find it or you don't have it. Can you like? Are you able to just switch out an ingredient real fast, just because of the way that you're very meticulous in your cooking? I I'm definitely a lot. Uh, worse at that than uh, Whit yeah. Whitney is. Yeah, I, I'll okay. start freaking out. I'll start calling her. Well, how, how, what can I do? Well, how, what can I sub? Uh -huh. I, I don't know. That's interesting. So, though. That's cool. Like, get all thoughtless. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely like the yeah. to you, the T, yeah. follow it. If you can't go with the flow and sub things in, um, it does get difficult for sure. Yeah, no doubt. So, knowing like what good alternatives there are is always mm -hmm. really yeah. helpful. And Auntie Kim Miller was waiting. Oh, oh that yeah. is. Did you, uh, My mother-in-law <laughs> and Billy's mom. Did you hear me uh, talking she's smack, really mom? <laughs> <laughs> she's thumbs up. And she's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I love hot pockets. I, I disclaimer. Now she has the fly swatter out. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna slap you. See many an Okole growing up. <laughs> hey, thanks for tuning in, mom. Nice. My mom went out to Dukes instead of watching the show. <laughs> sounds good. It's okay. You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> <sighs> All right. 
You're getting there. Oh yeah, let's, while you're doing this, let's throw out a game. Oh. Because one of the prizes that I have for one of you participating is from my dear friend, Chelsea Iwami. Chelsea Iwami. Have you heard of her? I, she's kind of, she's kind of famous. She's kind of a big deal in Kauai. So my friend Chelsea is a teacher, a uh, fourth grade teacher at Kaloa Elementary School. Mm. She grew up on Oahu, but came here to become a teacher. And she's an artist part-time mm. and she made these stickers and cards. I'll show you some with my Ooh. oily hand. Those are like collectibles. That's but hard to come by. it's plastic, so it won't be ruined. They are. Mm -hmm. But she made this beautiful, maybe this is an apapane or a... Looks like an apapane. Mm. Beautiful kokee birds. We have, oh, a pueo. It says mahalo. Wow. With his uh, nice aloha shirt on and anene goose with his uh, foamy hand. Nice. <laughs> so you get three cards and three super cute stickers you can stick on your hydroplast, your car. Um, oh. She's really good at drawing birds, I noticed. So thank you, Chelsea. Thanks, Chels. <laughs> Amazing. And that's all just straight from the top of her head. Yeah, she's not looking at anything. A lot of it is just her imagination. Yeah. Oh. So what is the Oh, game? yeah. What so is the to game? earn the prize, the more you participate, mm -hmm. the more active you are, the more likely you are to win. So nice. let's start off with a little bit of Olelo Hawaii. Oh. Some Halloween words for you. We'll start off easy. What is mahina? Type in the answer in the chat box. What does mahina mean? Oh. Hmm. Give me some time. Oh, Auntie Deb Kaleohano. Here Ooh, we she's go. quick. Lightning round. It's moon. Lightning round. Good job. <laughs> You're right. It is moon. Hee <laughs> hee. There was a beautiful full moon the other day. Now, yeah, that was tell very us what nice. the moon phase is. No. Yes, yes. <laughs> See right around half, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Experts gotta fact check that one. Yay, we got back yes. a little while ago, and it was a beautiful full moon. Which means good time for what? Fishing? Lobster diving. Lobster right? diving. It's good on a full moon. Okay. The lobster are more are the, the guards down. Are the sharks active or? Uh, you tell me, Mr. Shark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's no. right. I, you're I, a, did you forget? Yeah. Yeah, you're a lobster. Yeah. By the way, this is what I was wearing when uh, Billy and I became boyfriend and girlfriend. That is funny. I, it was yeah. uh, around Halloween time. Right on. And Halloween. I was this, I and Halloween. he was uh, Trump's bodyguard. Yes. This was before Trump was even president. This is when it's five Trump years ago. was uh, not fake news. He was legit news. He was, <laughs> he was the dude. Oh, no, he wasn't the dude. No, he wasn't. Was he? No. How do I don't even That's know why who it was he was. funny that you were that because. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's not get is it lobster out. season? <laughs> it is. All the months that have an R in it mm. are uh, safe for lobster grabbing. Um, males only, no females. So you can tell by flipping them over and here, under the underside of this tail, the skirt, uh, you'll see eggs. If it's a female. Nice. Yeah. I've gotten soft in my diving days though. I kind of just like to go look. Yeah, Whitney so, doesn't take anything anymore. She she lets me do all the work. I take work. pictures. <laughs> yeah. About it. That's yeah. cool too. What's your favorite thing to make with lobster? Ooh. I just like, lobster. I like, yeah, <laughs> it's so good that sometimes you just you just you don't want to hide the flavor in anything else. Mm -hmm. So I like to cut it up and then cook it like garlic shrimp, just garlic and butter. Yeah. And saute it. I know some people boil it, but I really think when you do the butter garlic with it, it kind of soaks into the lobster. And then you have more control over um, how long it gets cooked. Yeah, I agree with that. That yeah. is definitely the way. It just tastes so good alone. Yes. All right, my time is coming to an end here. <laughs> oh, good job. <laughs> Whitney would have done this in a Whitney would have had that done about that. You know, but that's why you get to cut it big, yeah, yeah. instead of little chunks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Something you're sweating. Yeah, this thing—it's it's an awkward uh, costume, but I'm, I'm digging it. It's, you're an awkward guy. So oh yeah, it's, it's, it's super fitting. All right. Okay, so the garlic's already in here. Um, you can add some seasoning, but the pumpkin itself is so ono by itself. And if there's enough water and moisture that I didn't feel like you needed to add any milk or cream, super simple. Mm. So you, you can do this in a blender or if you want to get a workout like what I'm doing, you can just do this. 
So there were garlic cloves in here, right? Four, Four garlic cloves. Four garlic cloves. Roasted in the oven, right alongside of the pumpkin. And they get mushy just like the pumpkin? Yeah, you could eat it right there, right out of the oven. It's what? really good. Yeah. Amazing. Super good. I believe I hadn't done this before the show. Yeah, Not so we try the recipes before, so we taste them, see if they're good, and... There's a lot of science that goes behind this show. Choke science. Like, a lot of experimenting. Basically, and then you we know, adjust, the professional kind of work. Change things to perfect it <laughs> for you. And yeah, this has been amazing, trying different This will be the third meatloaf. Recipes. The third feed loaf that we'll be making meatloaf. this week. Each one Am smells I, better than the last. How many times I've had it for lunch? Don't ask. <laughs> Woo! Like a dog. I know. That's another way we're different. I will eat things for like two days and be kind of tired, ready for a new change, and he can eat it all week long. <clears throat> all week, all year, and in be, fact. And be happy. Yeah. That's why- that speaks to my childhood again. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, Mom. That's why I love him. All Easy right. to cook for. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know, another yay minutes or so. Yeah, it's probably been over 20, so more, more toward the 30 minute range. So, yeah. Yeah, you don't want it. I'm super impatient. I cut things smaller so it boils faster. I'm like, I guess you could have gone smaller. Yeah. <laughs> like, I am yeah. for this. Yeah, yeah. But I guess it depends when you, on like... <clears throat> the one advantage of doing it a little bigger, you can Peel. squeeze it like a tube of toothpaste and it pops out of the skin. I've which you cannot do that. if you have little pieces. You're so, that's smart though. If you don't want the skin, Rocket easy. Science. Yeah, don't need to peel. That wastes time. Mm. I'm, Goes back to what's quick um, because cool. we're all busy. Yeah, we got how, jobs. How or it's like something you can just set and let it go while you're prepping other stuff. So you're not just yes. like peeling time, but it's boiling time. But you're mm -hmm. moving. I dig it. Smart. Yes. So before we move into the tea, because I am parched. I uh, think parched. you might have froze for a sec. Okay. And we're good on the other camera too. Good to go. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, you guys uh, are back in there. We always oh, yeah. have a contest in every Ooh. thing. Uh, are you more like me, the Picasso in the kitchen, <laughs> or like Billy, very meticulous? So put in the chat box, Whitney or Billy. Who are you mo most like? Do the loser you... will drink. <gasps> what do we have on the table? You get a bunch of olives and some pretty black looking olive some juice. pretty black looking olive juice salty olive juice a big mm. shot of that loser will take that all right i, can, I haven't I can lost yet to stormy so really hopefully... are you your three for three or yeah. two for two yeah two? yeah but you flood the the zoom with all your family does she have leading no questions <laughs> that's true <laughs> that's, that's true favoritism. they're just speaking the come truth come on let's go mom <laughs> well you have no chance, Billy. Who do you sorry. cook like? <laughs> Who does your mom cook like? I think like? she's leading you guys with questions. Do you like doing a lot of dishes when you're done, or do you like doing a little dishes? I sent when them you're an done? email before. Of what to do? To do. <laughs> okay, so Auntie Mel says she's like Whitney. Oh, you're right. Oh, we just God. go woo with the flour and oh, fly it all over oh, the place. No. This is about a fourth cup um, of olive legal? juice. Wait. Oh boy, I, it, it might have a lot of protein. Do I don't know. Auntie Deb says know. she's a combination of the two of you. Oh, that's a tie. So it's a tie. It's a tie. A little bit of both, we'll both depending take a on point. your, your we'll mood. Take a point. Mm -hmm. um, Auntie Kim says she's more like Whitney. Oh! oh. And then she says dot 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 Picasso. Picasso, oh. yes. Yeah, Whitney's okay. Picasso. Okay. It's not looking so good for me. Oh man. It's the lobster outfit. She's in season. It's fun. I'm in yeah. season. <laughs> sharks get a bad rap. Yeah, I love. Sh I actually do love sharks, though. <laughs> I've never met a shark, uh, Ooh, a mean shark. These are right about there. A couple more minutes. Nice. Okay. We're getting the water started for the tea. <clears throat> so we are making this lovely Ooh. witch's brew. Look at this beautiful lavender, not even lavender, bright ultraviolet purple. Oh. That's all natural. Are those that, eyeballs? These are. These are long gone what? eyeballs. What? Oh, that's cute. So we'll show you how to make that. That's a yummy, healthy tea with butterfly pea mm -hmm. flowers. Mm. Butterfly yeah. pea flowers. I have, it's new to me too. Uh, it looks like this. These not are really, butterfly pea, but like butterfly P-E-A. P-E-A. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll take double, it. Double check. You know. I'll take it out so you can see it. I'll put it in this clear cup. Yeah. <clears throat> Pretty. 
And we're on island. Can this be bought, Stormy? Mm, that's actually available on our commercial site. We just started offering um, local Ooh. food for hospitals, for schools, food pantries. Um, it's got an interesting smell to it. Smaller resorts. <laughs> yeah, they say it's kind of like green tea, the flavor. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's like a nice smell. Like an earthy flavor. Maybe not yeah, stick earthy. the one that's that went up our nose description. Um, in the tea. COVID, COVID, COVID. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, so I think I won that contest. Did you? Are you making that up? No, or no, no. You sure? I think we had like the people that spoke. The people that spoke. And their chosen. artists uh, in the kitchen. Okay. Yep. Never shied away from consuming much. Is this uh, all? Is this safe to do? Ah. Uh, is it safe? Not sure. You've, Experiment you've, with you've your eaten, husband. You've eaten worse. You've eaten worse. So you'll be okay. Well. Thank you, uh, aunties, for all your help here. Well, it's I been know. a pleasure uh, there are aunties. posting. It's the night of the aunties. Oh, they're laughing oh. at you. <laughs> it's salty. It's going to help the blood pressure. Oh, Woo. that's right. It's, you know, it's not as bad but as you, you know think. What? It's not as bad as you think. Sweet potatoes actually, and pumpkin lower your blood pressure. Really? That is a known Just fact. a big equilibrium there. Yeah, so you just evened out. And you're going running. Crushing right? it. So you'll be good. We're good. That wasn't that... that is, it tastes like olive juice. You want some Makes more? Sense. No, no, thank you. <laughs> okay, well, that's heating up. Uh, we can. <clears throat> what do we got? Kind of talk about the, the feet loaf, our final dish. Feet loaf. This is almost done. It's I think it might be done. A minute or two. Get this out of the way. It could be done. You could actually show the yeah. change in the tea. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, what's really cool about this tea is that it has a magical power. Ooh. When you add citrus, so lemon, lime, orange, it will change color. <clears throat> so, it started blue, turned purple. Let's see if what happens when I add even more citrus. More citrus? Have you added already citrus? There has been. Can you put it on like a white? Ooh. Against the white background? Yeah, or a different color just so we can see it's kind of getting um, blacked out on the stove. Can you see a little better? <laughs> or like set the white down on the stove? Oh, like this? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can Perfect. I do, can I do the honors? You got it. And then I've push it back never a seen this bit. before. Ooh. Closer to you. There we go. Yeah. Not melting so our whiteboard. Add a little citrus. Yeah, I'll move the eyeballs. And the uh, witch's brew changes. Here it goes. How much do I uh, add in? I think just keep just, going. Yeah. Just keep going until. Uh, the proper effect takes place. Okay, I see a slight change. It went from dark purple mm. to more of a reddish purple. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta really give them, huh? Does it take a, a, a minute or is it pretty instant? Mm, I When I brewed and then I added purple, so you can see it changing already. Oh, it's getting yeah, a little it's more pretty. pink. Should I go one more? Shoots. Oh, See, wait, 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 wait. Is that the only one we have? We have one more. So you one can use more. It. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. And this hot water is ready to go, so we can do All right. uh, a fresh batch for you to show you how it started. Oh, cool. So did it start this color? No. What? It was blue. What? It's really pretty. Mind blown. Yeah. The zoom camera. Sorry, guys. It's not as fabulous, but. Yeah, it actually turns rainbow. You guys probably can't see it. <laughs> yeah, no. He's kidding. <laughs> it's glittering. <laughs> it is shooting out flames. Yeah, it's, it's actually like sparkling and stuff. <clears throat> Kids would love this drink. Definitely and lighter healthy. though. And yeah, you know, some lighter people for sure. will like layer it so you can see oh, the colors. Nice. Like oh, ice, okay. Or like they'll use like a boba milk. Oh, cream. let's say some milk, some mm -hmm. coconut milk on the bottom, yeah. which is denser, will sink to the bottom. Yeah. Science experiment and then too for the kids. Like super slow so it mm -hmm. rests. Yeah. So I'm gonna use this really cool steeper. Steeper? Is that a, what do you call these? And add some of my butterfly pea flowers into there, about a tablespoon or so. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Plenty. Hopefully make it a nice rich color for you. Stick that in. Oh, then, see. ooh, to put this water in. Maybe you put this underneath so in case I spill. We'll let the meticulous one do the pouring. <laughs> oh, do the, do the sketchy job. <laughs> the meticulous one. 
Okay. Dude, this the super dangerous that part. Hot. Hopefully that doesn't crack. Yeah. Okay, know that when you mix we both cold things with hot things, well, it can crack. It's not cold though. That's so. insulated too, so it's meant okay. For, it shouldn't. Meant don't for put, tea. You don't want to put your hand there. Mm -mm. Here, you do this. Let it go. Yeah, yes. you're right. <laughs> we call it the no hand there. Yeah, <laughs> that's super smart. The shark's all spearless. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it needs to be angled though. Woo! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's so Whoa, pretty. Oh, so it comes blue. You can mm -hmm. see that. What? Look at the blue. What? Looks like Gatorade. Yeah, the like Gatorade rain. Gatorade rain. I was wondering what flavor it was. Go more up. More up. All the way mm -hmm. to touch what? the flowers. Okay, okay. There we go. You can put that in the sink thing. Good job. Oh. And then you can cover Ooh. it. So how scary. Oh. How does it turn purple? It's the color. It's just There's oh, some kind the, of chemical reaction you going add on. The, you add the citrus. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so like, like I was doing this whole time. Mm -hmm. So it starts <laughs> like this mm -hmm. and it ends like this here yeah. from the side. So amazing. Scientists right here, I tell you. Super cool. And as it steeps, it'll just get darker. Nice. And so you can add like obviously the citrus, but then you can add honey to temper mm -hmm. it so it's not as like tart. And then you can even do like herbal infusions like mint, ginger, or lemongrass. Oh, okay. And those are all really good to sweeten it up. Yeah, and it's really good okay. for you. They have, it's uh, butterfly pea flowers if you Google it. They're really beautiful. Um, but they're also, they carry a lot of antioxidants. So it's just really good cancer fighting properties. Nice. Yeah, so spray. like green tea, you know, something you drink every day and it makes you good. It looks makes super you cool. strong, makes you yeah. healthy. A lot of bars use it for like fancy mocktail kind of things. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Almost well, that's, ready. Well, that's steeping. We can start in our final dish. The uh, finale. The feet loaf. The feet loaf. The scary feet what loaf. What inspired feet loaf? I don't oh, think you even I, asked me that yet. Yeah, I'm not a big fan <laughs> of, of meatloaf to begin with until this one, but uh, Stormy and her gang at work. <laughs> oh, okay. We were doing research and wanted to find something super fun and um that just kept popping up and we thought it was perfect because it's just something that kids like to eat it's fairly easy and everybody has their own like special meatloaf recipe you know oh, most, yeah. most yeah. so many do. out there mm -hmm. so this you can adapt using your own recipe and just make it in the shape of a foot and it's easy and it's something that you can put choked veggies inside which yeah. is the, which is the, the goal yes. mm -hmm. hide yes. the veggies from your kids yeah <laughs> perfect <laughs> Before we start the filo, mm -hmm. I have a new one for you. What is this Halloween Hawaiian word? Ooh. Kanake. Giveaway opportunity. Oh, are these for stickers? Chelsea stickers? <laughs> yeah, you get a sticker. Ooh, don't make me say it. I want a Chelsea Kanake. sticker. Kanake. No Googling. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Who's got the fastest thumbs? I'll give you a hint if you haven't figured it out. Uh, it's sweet. Ooh. Very sweet. All right. So feet well, loaf. Are we so starting with? Start with the. Yes, you're the expert of feet loaf. Beef? You've made it probably ding, ding, like. Ding. Sorry, Kim Miller answered first. Candy. Oh, Candy. Mom. Did you know she was so my oh, I yeah. did. She she's very quick with her thumbs these days. <laughs> yeah, she's Good a job. researcher. I think these potatoes are <clears throat> done. We're gonna put that on the side. Okay. Cool. Well done, mom. Chelsea sticker coming your way. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, or, maybe. Or we maybe have more. Matching uh, them was like a second behind there. Oh, oh shucks. Like, oh, no. Gonna have to go <laughs> to the uh, the final round. Yes. All right. With, uh, the beef first? Yeah. Okay. The beautiful thing about this meatloaf, there's no order. Ooh. You just throw oh, sorry, it all. This is Wailua. Wailua yeah, meat. this is Wailua meat. So these are wow. happy cows. Happy. Until the day they became beef. Uh, <laughs> they were happy running around in right here in Wailua. We're in Wailua right nice. now. Nice. So okay. it looks very fresh. It compared does. to like what you'll find in the supermarket. That very bright red. Yeah, that just looks well, like a happy like, not oh. like spooky red, yeah? It's no, like, it's like natural. Oh, yeah. There's some fresh blood in there. <laughs> it looks like it's been freezing in a bath of CO2, you know? Like, yeah, there like wasn't like do. carbon monoxide mm. shot in there. All right. Monoxide. So two pounds of ground beef, which is perfect. That's just the proportion that it comes with. <clears throat> um, you could get that at the Malama Koi store. Mm -hmm. We have three eggs, Ooh. and this is going to help bind your meat mixture together. We have a stirring mechanism? We do. This one? We have green onions, about a fourth cup, all chopped up. Is this our stirring mechanism? Yeah. See, this is where we start That's great. 
differ like this one though it's kind of flimsy but that's what i have we have a cup we'll of chopped it. kale which was from the malama store oh super great that's like eight cups i didn't really measure it yeah i just realized <laughs> it's that supposed was to be one more cup. than one cup <laughs> you need to take a little dabble on it there no it's okay <laughs> Too late, bro. You're not eating raw beef kale. <laughs> yeah, 2.75 there. Uh, yeah. Hide it from the kids. Next, you're going to cut an onion, but reserve two onion rings like this. So make sure you cut it where the two ends are on the two sides and you chop that way. Not chop pico to pico. That makes sense. <laughs> like a flight attendant. I just felt like that. Uh, so keep that. That's going to be the, the exposed bone on your zombie Ooh. feet. Save it on the side. Gross. And then the rest is just chopped up, uh, okay. diced. Um, Auntie has a question. Would ground turkey work in this recipe too? Definitely. Any kind of ground beef, bison, mm -hmm. deer, Venison, yeah. not all that. Pork, you can even Pork. mix. Pork. I've just heard of mixing with some sausage in there. Mm -hmm. um, Ooh, yum. And I'm sure there's even um, vegetarian versions like bean or Beyond using beef. tempeh, yeah. tempeh, oh. tofu. I'm sure oh. there's recipes. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Vegetarian meatloaf. Yeah. We have eggplant also from the Malama store. Nice. That was a big so one. That was products. like a lot of eggplant. It was. That was a yeah. big one. Um, and what I love about that is you can't even tell it's in there. It just kind of soaks up the, the juice of the, the hamburger. Yeah, it's. it's you're also going to add one and a half cups of breadcrumbs. And secret ingredient, poi. Oh. Mm, this one is from Makaweli. To make your poi last longer, stick it in the fridge. And it's going to be kind of thick like this. To reactivate that, just put it in a pot with water and stir it. Or even in the microwave. And it'll bring it back to its original poi state. Bring it back to life. Freezer too. You can do that in the freezer. That's what we do, because we have an awesome neighbor who brings us we poi. We do. Poi on poi on poi in our freezer. Maybe one day I'll show you how to make the <clears throat> best poi mochi. That's Ooh. one of my favorites. So I'm putting about half a cup of poi. It's also kind of acting like a binder, because it's, when you think of it, kind of like a potato. Very nice. Wow, this is overflowing. Yeah, we're going to need another bowl to mix it. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and then this uh, one has a... One and a half, one and a half teaspoons. Teaspoons. Just eyeball it. You, just, you tell me when. You're like shaking. you're kind of like the uh, the expert on the. Whoa, this looks like it's uh, been cruising oh, in pepper. the cabinet for a couple of years. <laughs> it might need the butter knife uh, special. Fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh, it's, it's coming. Most of it it's coming. Getting in the bowl. It's there you go. Just keep going. No, gonna, okay, <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Go, uh, you guys uh, get a hold of that bowl. Oh, that's so like pretty. Look at the, the yeah. color. Okay, okay. Yeah, comment about the, tablespoon. This one, the colors in this bowl, you see the yellow egg. It's kind of like a rainbow Whoa. going on. I wouldn't eat it this in this state. That looks like one of those trendy bar drinks. It does. Deconstructed meatloaf. I don't know if I'd go for it. Oh, but. barbecue sauce. This and this is, actually is local. local barbecue sauce too. What? Yeah. Koloa. Mm -hmm. Oh, who makes this in Koloa? D greens, these greens, these greens, these wow. greens, regular small batch BBQ sauce. Mm -hmm. Yum! Wow, leave it to the so Kaloa's finest. Ooh, that came in our small bag last week. Oh, that does smell like good barbecue sauce. Yeah, I have to put that on some ribs. I see that the first the ingredient is pineapple juice, so it's Ooh, real. You know, yum. it's good. So, a cup and it's watery of too. That's gonna help. That's gonna mm. help big time with the mixing. Ooh, we gotta buy this what you for want. some yeah. ribs. Yeah, cool. So a cup any ingredient we're forgetting? Green onion. I put that in already. Yeah. So, <laughs> meatloaf is kind of big of it. <laughs> As like fried rice of meat. You just throw anything in there. It's not one of those things where you have to be exact. As long as you have uh, some kind of binder, then it's good. Throw them in. It's good. This is too small. So, yeah, who's going to have the pleasure of uh, trying to mix this? Oh, here. Nice. You can't see it, but it'll be a lot easier to mix. You can see the deconstructed version. Oh. oh okay. Put them in there. All right. Oh. oh nice. <laughs> skillful. Skillful. Very good. Beautiful. Wow. All right. See, when I mix this, I get like a big old wooden spoon, like a hard one that's like, kind of like a club, you know? And this thing is like rickety and like, look at the angle. It works. It works. <laughs> Just mix. Just mix. I might end up breaking this off in here. It's fine. Stuff is, I have plenty more. You gotta give them a good mix. There's a lot of stuff in here. So, 
Mix, 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 mix. While he's mixing, another Olelo Hawaii for you. Oh. What is Popoki Ele Ele? Popoki mm. Ele Ele. Mm. Mm. If you know Popoki, it might give you a hint. And Ele Ele. Oh, black cat, Auntie Deb. Oh, oh she is quick. Yeah. That was wow. from the heart. Wow, she straight is straight from the heart. Man, came to win. Just Woo. knew that one. And then Auntie Mel answered for the chips. Mm -hmm. She said crushed tortilla chips. Oh, okay. Oh, Arriba. Edition. Yeah. We just came from the land of tortilla chips, actually. Yes. Yeah. Very. Oh. Yep, yeah, we just came back from our honeymoon in Mexico. Very good tortilla really chips down there. I am tired of eating burritos and tacos Ooh. for about a month, though. <laughs> All day, every day. Maxed. Uh, oh, the pumpkin looks golden brown. Yeah. Let me pull that out. But well, remember, we already made some of this, so we have an extra batch for Stormy to take home. Whoa! Look at that. That does look good. That is the cool. That's it smells anything. delicious. Like it does. The house just got like really smelly, yummy. You know, I was just eating that plain out of the pan yesterday when I, the time I made that. My it was friend, so good. she'll roast it and then put like fresh thyme on top Ooh. and then rosemary, like an Italian. Yeah, just like that flair. And then yeah. a, like a drizzle of olive oil. Yeah. To finish. Oh, mm. Oof, so good. Mm -hmm. What do you think, boss? I think it needs a little more barbecue sauce because of the. Uh, copious amounts of kale I put in there? <laughs> no, I no, mean, I think, I think it looks great, but okay. you've made me love many more times than I have. So. I just don't want it to be too bland, you know? If it looks a little reddish, oh, you know what I mean? Getting the what? ranch. The ranch, that'll help. Um, I put it over here. Juicy. So, Whoa, another oh, super healthy. Oh, hiding over there. Whoa. Good thing. We're gonna need some more barbecues over here. Carrots, <laughs> oh, carrots. Good in here. These, these have been grated. So thank you to Billy for doing that while I was Did at work. Did you guys see our tea? Exactly. Look at our tea. Decision. It's beautiful. <laughs> Look at this deep blue. Wow. I just looked at it. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, it went from light blue to yeah. the other one. The it's... other Gatorade. The purple blue one. Uh, the grape flavor. I'm just move it to the uh, side. Can you see it? Not the Savant on Gatorade flavors, but... <laughs> so It's getting, it's getting darker. One, ca one <clears throat> carrot. Can we put pepper inside? I did. Okay. <laughs> Put more veggies in. Grow your own herbs and yes. dry yeah. them on the line yeah. in your kitchen. Yes. And then you chop them and then you add them to your pot kai and yes. then you add that to your food. Yes. You can make good decisions <laughs> You can in life do too. any range of, yes, of yeah. what we just said. And depending on what you have accessible, what you're mm -hmm. feeling for, what's in season, mm -hmm. all that stuff. I'm surprised the spoon is holding on. I didn't think you'd make it another meatloaf. Good job. Okay, I'm gonna, I really love these silicone mats. Um, they don't burn and they can withstand being Ooh. broiled on and things don't stick to it. So I've been, Pretty good. instead Pretty of well oil, mixed. this cool. is what I suggest using. Pick it up uh, All right. from Target. <clears throat> Target. Oh, you went? No, I did not. Oh. Because I want to spend eight Target? hours when I go yeah. then. We went to Target on Kauai. Yes. <laughs> Was it like a club scene? Um, like, there was like a bouncer and all. I heard. I, I can was, I can imagine. It was late was a cover charge and yeah. Mm -hmm. Like popcorn and good music playing. Okay, oh, so it was blasting. Whew. So can oh, some. we can turn this oven off. That would be good. Mm. Oh. So you wanna split it? We're gonna start making the feet, the two feet. So we're gonna split the meat into two mounds, and this is where your hands get mm -hmm. to get in there. So I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm not wearing gloves. Gonna wear your lobster claws? Yeah, true. expert level. Try making it with lobster claws on. That is, that's the next level. Oof. That'd be a fun game show. What is that? What can you do with claws on? <laughs> yeah, try to make a, a meatloaf with lobster claws on. So what I found in the many meatloafs that I've made, when I'm trying to make two loaves, you know, sometimes you just make one and you don't gotta do anything. I just split it in half, you know, I put like a little line down the middle and just shimmy it to one side, shimmy one to the other side. Can you uh -huh. see? Yeah. So, yeah, so that way you can just pick up one at a time. There you so go. It sticks together fairly well. It should. Not completely. Especially the veggies. Oh. Veggies make it a little less. A little more textured. Yeah. But more yummy, but. Um, oh, that's still the same foot? Oh, you know okay. it. It's not even done. 
monster feet. Not off foot. Whoa. Okay. Good thing. This is like the too, local brother that doesn't feet. wear any slippers feet. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it's the sleeping giant. The stomp up. No, no. I'm gonna give one little more because this is still a big one. Here. Everyone has one, but that's a little longer anyway. Yeah, one, one funny toe. The second toe is longer than the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never trust yeah. someone who has a second longer toe. No, you, that is how you know it's one ali. Oh, it's oh. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just kidding. Shucks. I'm like looking at her toes like Do we have that. Oh, we are just the makai man. <laughs> Okay. Okay, other foot. I don't know. Whoa. That was really pretty with the colors. Two. The blue. Yeah. Oh, this. Yeah. yeah. I love the kale in there. Mm -hmm. And that will shrink Almost down too. Like kidney beans. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> what does? Yeah, eggplant. Oh, you could put totally put beans in. Like a, like a bean burger. I don't know if I'd want to be in the same room as you after, but <laughs> I, uh, it fits I have no words because you know that's the opposite <laughs> way around. <laughs> what? That's impossible. Alright. Would you even waste your time roasting those vegetables first for like added flavor? You know how sometimes I've seen that. Yeah, like you roast to get the caramelized flavor. Would be good. I saw that on a lot of the recipes I was looking at, mm -hmm. like for the onion and things. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but after me. like an hour and a half of cooking with the meat sauce oils, it's all soft. Yeah. Uh, the, of course, the smaller you cut your veggies, the more cooked through they're gonna be. So mm -hmm. if you're worried about that, make your onions super tiny and all your veggies small. Okay, so I have two oval shapes of meatloafs. Right. Even them out. I'll make the toes kind of facing you so you can see. Yes. So we're gonna start shaping them into long ovals. This part is really fun. This is where you, some kids <laughs> would love doing this part. Can you pull back cool. the pan just yep. a smidge? Yeah. There you go. Maybe up Oops, a little bit. Sorry. There, there you go. <laughs> and nice. I'm gonna start forming, you wanna form that ankle? Oh man, are we having a forming contest here? Oh, we're gonna no. make the best. <laughs> no, I saw the last time you made a kanko. I, I'm a kanko maker. Oh shoot. Okay, wait, back on. I'm back on to oh, 375. 375. Yeah. We've been Sorry, doing an hour and a half, but you can probably mess with, we cover it with tin foil. You can probably mess with pulling the tin foil, baking it a little bit less. Mm. I don't know. And maybe it depends on your oven too. Your oven's yep. power for mm. sure. Traditionally, it's been 375 per hour and a half, mm. covered gently with foil. Nice. So the onions don't burn and everything. Yeah. Kind of dry. It will dry out, but I like to mm. pull it, the tin foil off at the end so that uh, it kind of gets caramelized and nice. dark brown on the outside, but still juicy on the inside. You're copying your style here. So oh. I'm using my hands like this to make a, a circle. That's for the ankle. The kinkle. I'm making an ankle. You're making actual ankles. Yeah. I'm trying to copy that. Huh? Huh? What huh? happened to your foot? It's like uh, a clown shoe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have big toes. Okay. Can I judge my foot? Alright. Or I'm gonna judge your foot. Okay. So we're you... also gonna hollow out the ankle a little bit. Goodness. Because remember this is gonna be the thickest part of the meat. So to make it help it cook more evenly, kind of hollow it out like a shoe would be. Get a little hole. Oh, you could put hole. some some goodies in there, extra kale, some cheese in there. Ooh, hide more veggies from the kids. Hide it. <laughs> Is it okay if I have a fat foot and you have a skinny foot? Uh, it's kind of like real life. But some then you want, too. but when you're will baking, one will not bake as much. I don't know. Does so, it matter? <laughs> Well, I'll let you be artistic. You don't oh. want to. You don't want to crush someone's artistic. Yeah. Foot. There's no wrong right answers in in, in My art. Equal Thanks. opportunity foot person here. So exposed bone, just a ring of onion. I'm gonna place it on oh, yeah. top. Just about Here's yours. A kind. Oh there. wow! It's called art. That for a reason. That is something I've never seen before. <laughs> Except for this afternoon when I uh... yeah. Okay. And, oh, As you can see, it takes some time to, to form it. <laughs> now for the fun part. Some little toes and creepy toenails. It's like a clown boot. So I'm going to rinse my hands. Oh, I'm kind of happy with my ankle. I think my ankle looks It's a little decent. squishy squish. Well, but I guess good. I've never seen a real monster foot, so how would I know? Yeah, another mm. question. I'm going to drain the water. I love the purple color that... Purple sweet potatoes make too. Sometimes, 
Sometimes I, I, save, I save that water and then use oh, yeah? it to water my plants. Oh, it probably is super good. Are we starting with our toes or are we, uh, are we waiting? You can start the toes. I'm just uh, draining the potatoes out. Okay. So we can cool. mash that last. Okay. So it's kind of hard to see, I guess, with this angle, but you just kind of separate. Oh, here. You your can toes. use a knife. Use a knife. Uh, we've been doing four toes instead of five just because it's. It's easier. Yeah. Toes are hard. Yeah. You get skinny toes, it starts to get tricky. So I just separate into Not that hard, but... little cuts, four cuts to make four toes. Yeah. It's a monster. Here, do you want to use a knife? Uh, yeah, this is working fine. And it just... makes me think of like when you're making sand things. You know, yeah. like sand castle awesome. or like you're burying your friend and you make your feet on him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's it's actually not that hard at all. It's yeah. kind of like clay. It's fun, yeah. yeah. And the meat is super moldable. Yeah. yeah. That's great for young kids. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, um, kids would love will, this. What's it called? Um, oh, it's good. Fine motor skills and such. Yes. Yeah. Or just being able yeah, to play with their fun. Good. And then they're more likely to eat what they create. Yeah. Right? They have ownership over that. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got long monster toes. They're looking all right. more similar. That's good. And for yeah. toenails, can't miss the last one of the last steps, and that's toenails. So you can either do uh, some kind of nut or just dice up onion. Mm -hmm. Whatever looks. Some almonds, and I like good. how they look kind of round and creepy. So, oh, you just, like them? We don't just put them. Oh, really? Yeah, just throw them on there. Oh, you like them like the brown, brown and creepy, instead of white you and want white? pedicured. All right. Um, he likes the. Like, like the pedicure look. Okay, yeah. okay, it's clean toes. Yeah, clean toes. Just split the long way down the uh Do you have alamon. to bite it or, or is there a way to do this? I know he I'm can go like that. I'm sure so if you're talented enough, you can cut them, but I know I've cut my fingers off if I tried to cut it the long way. Oh, we might have enough. I've been doing it since I was a kid. With, that's how I eat almonds. It's really weird. It just goes, bite them in half the long way. Comes in two pieces. Enjoy it for longer. Oh my kind goodness. Very oh. strange. Look at that, idea. those are looking like real feet. <clears throat> There's only one more step. Ooh. And that's to add. I don't want the slide off, but here it is. Zero. That's to add blood. blood. Oh. Do -do. Can I be the blood okay. adder? Yes. Sure. Always wanted to be the blood adder. Oh! <laughs> I guess blood might do that. It so might do that? Okay. <laughs> Let me show you exactly yeah, what go I in meant a to circle. do. You meant to go on the rim so of the this bone is of the what onion. you're supposed supposed to do so it kind of covers the onion looks like it looks like the feet just got hacked at yeah. the ankle <laughs> but this <laughs> one got dribble i don't even know what happened yeah, that one cleaver yeah <laughs> but the beauty of you know no, no, I don't no you like it, it. okay it, it just kind of exploded and when it cooks in the oven it kind of dries up like dried blood it does this actually you'd be surprised this tastes so good the uh dried ketchup over the uh the top of the ankle yes like yum so i'll give you that super super <laughs> look yummy. at those monster feet Ooh, one's a little bloodier than the other so we're gonna throw that in the oven this is possibly stormy's dinner um we're gonna cover it with foil so, so that um the moisture stays in you can take that off in the last 10 minutes of cooking to kind of caramelize it if you like so a loose wrap so you don't squish <clears throat> your your feet Thank you. Ooh, ah. Ooh. Oh yeah. Good job. All right. Woo. So that goes meatloaf. 375 for hour and a hour half and ish. Hour and a half. Check them at like maybe hour, hour, hour 15. 15. You can yeah. check it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So let's finish off the mash um, and then we'll Ooh. see all the food completed. Oh, all right. this tea, I'm really thirsty. Let's do this tea first. Yeah, we're gonna sample the tea? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's pour it into cups. Oh, I have ice. I know that was uh, I have ice. part of the party here. We get to try the tea. <laughs> what? So it's that's how quickly it takes. Yeah, I actually well, it was, was five done. minutes. It was ready. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, do I just take the do I take this off? Mm -hmm. And then it'll drain. Oh. So. Okay. Yeah. That's probably the good part. The stuff that's all. So that. That liquid too will like you, you've used them as like a dye. So wherever you put them down, oh, you want to make sure you don't want oh. it to stain. Oh. Yeah, Ooh. Easter so, eggs. Yeah, so you, you can, can do Easter that eggs. That. You can do any type of like nice. dyeing oh, for yeah. frosting so or pretty. cake. Oh, that's super. Yeah, 
you left it really long. That's I put a lot cool. of flowers. Oh, okay. I put a little bit to even those nice. out. Nice. Try like when you pour, like Ooh. pull away from the cup so you can see the color on the screen. Oh. Can I do that? Like long pour? Oof. Without, oh, yeah. Without boiling my hand. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. That is exciting. Yes. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Oh, oh. <laughs> you want some hot tea on this hot night? I think some hot tea on this hot night in this hot costume. <laughs> perfect. Because there's That's no so ice downstairs. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Go run upstairs. Yeah, can you grab a little bowl of ice? Do you actually want? You know yes. you want ice <laughs> as well. Right there. Stormy, you want some too? Can you pull oh, you a little bit on the side? Sure. Okay. Please. Oh, and there's this one too, I guess. You can have the one already ready to go. Oh, what was the tea you used? Auntie Mel is asking. So it's a butterfly, butterfly pea, pea, leaves and flowers that are dried. How can people who are not in like a restaurant business get this? Um, good question. Well, you don't have to be in the restaurant biz. We sell to like we sell it on our commercial site. So it's to Primarily, we're focusing on hospitals, schools, and food pantries. Um, restaurants are just that added bonus because, of course, we love local food from there, too. Um, you can make an account and start ordering from there if you were, like, part of, a like, one of those things. Um, but eventually, we'll make it available to residential customers. Ooh. I'll put it in Megan's ear. Oh, okay. Yeah, sounds like people would love to try this. It's mm -hmm. really fun. Or you can grow Ooh, them yourself. Honey drizzle. Oh, get some yeah. butterfly pea seeds. Yeah. <laughs> okay, should we do this first? Ice after? Mm. Sure. Oh, we get to play again. Yes. yes. Okay, can you kind of see that it's a deep, deep blue? Yeah. Ocean blue, the deepest part. Ooh. Oh, pretty. It is, yeah. Almost it has a little purple. Yeah, there. a little yeah. purple. Okay, let's see. Alright. One, two, three. Whoa, I see it already turning more blue. That is cool. Purple, yeah. Like a oh yeah. Whoa. Yeah, it the is blue cool. To bright, bright purple. Yeah, wow. Yes. See how it tastes too. I'm sure this is really healthy for you too. Cool. Yeah, the honey will like because when you add Plenty of citrus, it, it was like super tart. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You just, okay. you just oh, I, I stop, did, you yeah. were having too much fun with that. <laughs> <Lime>. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's so so kids, basically yeah, lime juice. Yeah. yeah, and then you're like, no, oh, cousin. So oh, yeah, like, yeah. ginger is really good if you want to go that oh. route. Or the honey if you want sweet. Oh, or good. like a ginger beer mm -hmm. and do like a Moscow mule. Mm -hmm. Or that gingery that they sell, like, the ginger lemonade. Yeah. Wow. And these are eyeballs made out of long gun with mm -hmm. half of it peeled off. So you see the little seed inside. Cool. Or we have little sprinkles, sprinkle oh, yeah. eyeballs. The candy eyes. The candy eyeballs. eyes. These make everything look fun. Ooh. And you can do a little shrunken head with your lime. A shrunken head? Have you heard of it? No. Well, heard of real shrunken heads. Uh, you just... How does this work? I like squeeze Whoa. it so it's like in half. Or it's like <laughs> squished. He looks funny. <laughs> it's like the bearded shrunken head. That's cute. <laughs> yeah. Anything with eyes. Yeah. Oh, right. so funny. Well, cheers, my love. All right. Cheers, cheers you. Yes. Thank you all for coming. Yes. We to all of our you. viewers. Oh, I definitely taste the lemon. Oh, and the honey. That's really good. It has a light, refreshing taste. Really floral. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. I don't know how else to describe it. Earthy? Yeah, I can see that on a hot, you know, if it's hot, it's like on a real cold it. morning. This would be very good. Yum. Especially with the honey. Oh, with coconut milk, too. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Which I have. Do it. Ooh, Let's see what, what happens. Will it swirl in or will it sink to the bottom? Ooh, that's fine. It's going to turn it back to blue. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. Oh, that'd be quite because it's like um oh it's like little ghosts in there oh uh, that's cool it's fun it's floating to the top which is opposite of oh, you... oh sorry <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, oh, put it in yours. <laughs> just let it go like let it go <laughs> little ghost
ghost curds in there. <laughs> ghost curds. <laughs> Not ghost turds. Sorry. There you go. Mmm. Is that the now one? Now it tastes like jalapia tea. Ooh. Like a sweet potato jalapia tea. It does. That is good. Wow. Sweet potato jalapia pie yeah. tea. Mmm. Mmm. Sounds interesting. All right. With a hint of an entire line. <laughs> just a slight entire it's, it's, it's life. It's still really good though. Maybe try lemon next time. Yeah. More, the lime was ah. more because it was cute with the mm. green yeah. and the purple garnish. But uh -huh. lemon is like the typical way to get. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Before we start on our sweet potato mash, mm. let's do lightning round. Oh, Ooh, aunties. Let's see what you got. Get those fingers ready. Kiliki olaku. Kiliki olapu. Oh. Hmm, no hints because you guys are just so good at it. Hawaiian. Come on, she's shaking her head. You can't do it, Auntie Dad. I'll give you a hint. <laughs> it's something you say on Halloween. Oh. Oh, Auntie Mel, jack o' lantern. Mm, nice try. Something Ooh, you say. So close. Something the kids say at your door. Auntie Deb, trick or treat. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Oh, Kim, right at the very oh. end. At the buzzer. Oh. So be close. quicker than that, Mom. <laughs> Good job, guys. Ooh. Oh, your Olalava is on. I love it. Kiriki Olaku, trick or treat. All right. Okay. So. so, we have our boiled two potatoes, super deep purple. Uh, purple. That's our theme tonight. Um, and why mm -hmm. I love to keep on the skin like this is you squeeze it and the skin kind of just pop, pops off. It kind of rubs off. That's cool. Super easy. Nice. The bowl for these. It's really quick. And there it is. Nice. You can just eat this straight as is. But it's good? Yeah. Okay, well you can mash in this. Mash while you the kind. So our pumpkin mash is more of a savory one with garlic, and this one is gonna be our creamy sweet version. You can make them together or separately. It's just that the purple and the orange look really pretty next to each other for for your dinner table. Right. It's almost like a witch hat. <clears throat> Wait. Yeah, not yeah, all yeah, done. yeah, yeah. Oh, while we're here peeling, um, I wanted to say that there are 10 spots that you can do your CSA pickup oh. all over the island of Kauai. So sorry, Auntie Mel, she's over on Oahu tuning in. Um, but mm, cool. when you come down, I'll cook for you. Uh, so a CSA bag means uh, community supported agriculture. So that's uh, fruits and vegetables, things grown on island in your own town, in your ah ahupua. Uh, since we live in Koloa, they have a pickup super convenient right by the food trucks right in town. And that is every Thursday for everyone. And if you live in a far out spot or you're really busy, you can't pick it up, it's just $5 for delivery. So super worth it. And that's what I do. Funny story, I went there one time and uh... Whitney had asked me to pick up the CSA bag and, you know, maybe get a little footage of picking it up, you know, from local people, yeah. local farmers. I said, okay, cool. So I go there and I ask them, hey guys, can I film you? This is, I don't know if you've ever heard of Malama Kauai, but they're like, no, we are Malama Kauai. <laughs> I was like, oh, right on. I, I am not in the know. But now I am. So, yeah, they were super cool. Did you say sisters? <laughs> sisters, my brother. This is my brother. This is my brother. <laughs> But yeah, so they're super cool in there, and yeah, go grab some good local produce. That was cute, Billy. Yeah, He's I was like, um, I, brother, you here? Yeah, 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 actually, you have found us, my brother. Oh, okay. You would make it. Right on. I sent him on a lot of missions while I'm at work. Yeah. With I, like no like detail, just like, just go. She <laughs> sprinkles details in, nice. which is... You know, me being me, I need every detail, every yeah, particular story. Yeah, so I have to be very specific and write out a lesson plan for I, him. Which yeah. is funny because <clears throat> our first date, I did write him a lesson plan. He was my substitute teacher in my classroom. Very true. And that was our first uh, date, was getting shave ice after school. I made him stay in grade papers, which all teachers do to their subs, right? Ah, that was so cruel. I was like, okay, all the hair is like, can no, you, no, can you like, do math pages with me? Best teacher. Hi. 
and how is it being married to a teacher? Whew, I just follow directions. I do what I'm told. Learn it's the best. To just make my life easy. Mm. <laughs> Fun summers off, right? That is true. We, Sorry, uh, what I'm doing in here October is... Breaks. No, I was like, are you using oat milk? I am. I don't think I've ever even had oat milk before. Really? It's, yeah. I usually drink almond milk because uh, cow's milk sometimes makes me feel a little weird in the throat. Mm. Um, so Lush. I like almond, but oat I feel like is less watery than, than almond. Oh. I like it. It's a little creamier cool. to me. So I put a mixture. So you just want to put about a cup. But this is one of those things you don't need a measurement. It's just going by consistency, kind of like poi. How thick do you want it? Um, I like the creamy coconut milk taste in there, so I put half cup of this, and I did another half cup of oat milk. You can use, of course, what else? Almond milk, cow's milk, heavy cream if you want it really rich, half and half, skim, breast milk if it's on hand. Gatorade white. I don't think they sell that. I think that's a thing. <laughs> yes. Okay, <laughs> no, start matching. Yes, ma'am. We have. Match away. We're at 647. So, oh, yeah. So we're wrapping it up. We're wrap in that last it part. Up. Thanks, everyone, who's still sticking in there with yeah, us. Yeah, thank you. We oh, really hopefully, appreciate hopefully you. Hopefully, you're eating dinner alongside and. And we're not just on mute on the uh, <laughs> kitchen counter somewhere. And you're just laughing every five seconds to look like you're paying attention. Pasted those googly eyes over your eyes. <laughs> oh. Oh. Actually, Auntie Deb is going to win because she's the only one with her video on. Like the oh. whole time. Oh, so she's... And she answered all her chat. Attention. No, you're doing the... She's like, oops, no, 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 we want you here with us. <laughs> we love it. Yes. Alright, is that? Hello, hello, Keala. Oh, your sun is on. Ooh. Okay, let's show them what that looks like. Just about the one, yeah, right there. Don't want it too watery. Get all the lumps out. Alright. Okay, we're gonna plate this uh, potato mash so it looks really pretty and cute. Um, I'm gonna start with the orange on the bottom and the purple on top. So we have our garlic pumpkin mash that we made earlier. This one is a savory. Is there a spoon? I guess I can use yeah. a spatula. Yeah. Just plop that on. <clears throat> How's that technique? Whew. A little hair <laughs> in there. It's, it's, it's a very hairy technique. Very scary. Alright. Okay, mash that in. Mash them around. Yep. Okay. Flatten that out. Okay. Use that. Yum. Here. So pretty. Purple with orange. Doesn't get more Halloween-y than that. Beautiful. So that's our bottom layer. So layer number one. And then... Meticulous, meticulous, meticulous. I was going to say, that's good, that's good. that's good, that's <laughs> good. Thank you. Okay. Ooh, it's nice and creamy. So that was about four medium potatoes. Four medium potatoes, uh, yeah. Two potatoes, you could do two really Chopped large ones. Chopped hamburger style, not hot dog. Yeah, you probably could have. Will it work hot dog though? It'll be okay, it'll be harder to squeeze <laughs> off the fine. skin. Oh, yeah. that's true. See. Yeah. Okay, I'm putting this on here so that we can still pretty. see the orange around the edges. Oh, Picasso. Yes, it's beautiful. Okay, want to get those olives that you drink the juice of? Oof, yeah. And Sorry. we're going to make a cute little spider on top. Oof, oof. And a little spider whip with coconut milk. So a little hack and trick with coconut milk. If you stick it in the fridge, it becomes creamy like, like how Pia. Oh, it's so, cool. So yeah. yeah, it gets real thick. So, when it, you stir it, does it stay thick? It still stays pretty thick, yeah. So it's like creamy, perfect on your coffee in the morning, like a little dollop on top. Ooh, Real yum. yum. So we got our orange Ooh. and purple layers. Orange and purple. Uh, let's do the coconut milk web. So oh, we need okay. a little Ziploc. 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 Right there. Get the port size. Oh, I had a little, a little one. Oh. Perfect. And can you pour maybe like a third cup in there? 
Yeah, I mean, around there. That's good. Okay. And now we're gonna snip an edge with a little scissors right here. Nip an edge. Right. And we're gonna start with a circle. Can you see? A circle yes. in the middle. Mm. A little snip. It's like frosting day. Kind of, yeah. Piping bag. Piping bag. And make a circle. Oh, it's, it's super liquidy. This is artistic Ooh, here. Tell it you is liquidy. It's not going to be perfection. It'll be tasty though. And I'm making rings and circles. Ooh, and one more. Ooh, and put that on the side. It, it will thicken up if it was in the fridge a little longer. Uh, now we're gonna drag, use uh, like a knife <laughs> or a fork, a toothpick, perfect. Take one of these from the eyeballs and drag it through. So starting from the middle, going out, it'll make a little bit of a cool whoop design. Oh, I could see how this would work very good if it was congealed a little more. Yeah, the or- The coconut milk. I've done this with uh, brownie batter and cheesecake. That's where I kind of got the idea when you marble it together. A uh, little tricky when you have something thick. If you have any ideas of how to add a web, please let me know in the chat box how you would make a white web. I would almost do it opposite. Maybe carve in the oh. web first and then fill her. Ooh, fill her. Yeah. that is a great idea. Right? Yeah. Then, and then you use your baggie and you- And then yeah. it will kind of go in. You would have to go like so slow. And yeah, then, like, that's tiny, true. But that's like, that's like my speed right there, super slow. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Slow. I. Nah, but. I like that idea. That sounds yum. Yes. So the fun little spider, you can make as many as you want. Put a little whole olive on there. That's the body. Chopped one in half, hamburger style. That's the head. Put the, the side with the X as the head, as the head, and then. We're gonna take a whole olive and going um, horizontal, I guess. Cut thin slices and then cut across. So you have kind of like that same oh. smiley shaped olive, like I did the pumpkin. Oh, oh, oh. It's just like a half circle. Can you like? Um, oh, do like the makeup tutorial <laughs> thing. <laughs> and then put the legs. eight of those on. Wow. Oh, that's a big leg. Go ahead. You want to put some more? Sounds like a, a knee job as well. Eight legs, Eight of course. Eight legs from each I have olive four. So over the four. course of one hour. <laughs> Place delicately. Yeah. <laughs> in your piped web. That is so my style right there. Oh, thank you. Do wow. everything super slow. Oh, that one. Oh, that's, quality sorry, that's, that's like my Kenko feet loaf right there. Oh, I wonder how the Kenko meat loaf is oh, doing in the, in the oven. We'll find out soon. Okay, we got our four. Wait, one more night. Thank you. Is it an All arachnid right. or is it an... Where's the ant called? Oh, Hit shoot. us up in the chat box. Let us know what the ant <laughs> that's a hard is one. called. <laughs> what is a spider in Hawaiian? Oh, we totally I'm going to flip it. That. Flip it around on you. What is spider in Hawaiian? And look at it all done. Oh. Spider whip, spider coconut whip. milk, pumpkin mash with purple soup potato mash on the bottom. Yum. Yeah. Charlotte Perfect and her whip. side dish with your feet loaf. That sounds so good. Ooh. Okay, so that has a lot of time, but we've made one on the side. Did Billy you? did. Made one. Good job, Billy. They both off. have cankles, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I, I just the kind of when you wasn't looking, I, I kind of like reformed them. Oh, thank you. But whoa, oh, oh, they might have shifted in the car. Oh, oh, that's okay. We got a spatula. It's like the uh, arachne and the uh, the other one. One has three toes, one has four toes. <laughs> that's okay. It's Look, a monster. You you can glue. The nice thing is you stick them back together. You covered it with ketchup. Band Band-aids for the, uh, and the monster foot. You won't even know. So here you go. We have our spider mash, mm. our feet loaf with severed ankles, and our witch's brew. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, Cheers. Thanks for sticking with us to the end. Woo. Have a Happy great Halloween. Happy Halloween. For more tips, recipes, and information, come follow their Instagram at malama underscore kawaii. 
and also their Facebook at Malama Kauai. We'll be cooking up even more Onokain grinds on Tuesday, November 9th at 5.30. You can register by clicking the link in the comments. We hope to see you then. Ahui ho!